All right, everybody, this is the moment when we explore the world of the electric motorcycle. We have several with us. They are the Zero Motorcycle. We're going to start one up with the guy who runs the whole show. His name is Scott Harden. Scott, welcome to the program. Nice to be here. Right. Next to you is uh, what I take to be an electric motorcycle. Absolutely. This right. is our top-of-the-line bikes. Top-of-the-line bike. Start it for me, please. Well, I turn the key on and give it a few moments just to run through its diagnostic cycle. It's keying up right now, it's doing all of its checks, and now it uh, is running. I can't hear a thing. That's the way it's supposed to That's be. That's hopeless. <laughs> well, Look, it depends. If you buy a motorcycle, you start it up, you put the old throttle on, you want to hear a roar. I hear nothing from this thing. Well, I don't think your neighbors want to hear a roar. No, I, I the care. public that's around Motorcycle you. drivers have, could care less about neighbors. They want the throaty roar. I'm Can't a you? motorcycle driver. I ride all my life. I'm in the Amy Hall of Fame. I've ridden them all. I've ridden one for Paris to the car. Right, so right, right, right. I love this bike. It's How a much? great. How much? $15,995 for the top of the line. The bike started at $79.95. Of course, there's a federal and state tax credits available on them as well. So. I get a tax credit. Yes, for absolutely. Ten percent from the from the federal government. Good news from. Uh, how long between charges? Uh, top. You know, this bike's rated at 137 miles on highway, and uh, depending on how you ride it, you can get anywhere uh, from real world to uh, freeway use from 80 miles up to the full 137. All right, come on, sell me, because I am not sold on an electric motorcycle. If I buy a motorcycle, I want acceleration, I want power, I want the throaty roar, I want a very masculine machine, okay? So we give you all of that without all of the drama. What we give you is a bike that makes more foot-pounds of torque than a 1,000cc sport bike. We give you a bike that accelerates from 0 to 60 with the top of the bikes on the planet. Very, very competitive power, very, very competitive acceleration. You got all this torque, you got all this acceleration without all the drama, all the noise, the fumes, the heat, the vibration, all the other things that are just aggravations, plus not all the oil in the garage that your Triumph ah, yeah, used to yeah, leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my Triumph Bonneville? <laughs> yeah. That was a machine, okay? Yeah. That was a machine. Now, I would suggest that this is maybe dangerous for the rider and for the general public because you can't hear this thing coming. Well, absolutely. That's not completely false because it's been proven time after time by studies that sound doesn't make a difference. It's visual cues that save riders' lives. That's why they always say ride defensively. You ride it, if you ride defensively and you're aware of the environment around you, you should have no problem. Okay, now this thing is running. It's running right, right now. Just, so we I'm can just, take off. Let's that, go. That's the throttle, right? The just, usual set. The All throttle's right, right here. It's, the right. throttle is now active. If you touch it, this thing's going that way. Okay. It, it is? Yes. It's not in gear, surely. It's direct drive. It's in gear all the time. All no the time? clutch, no clutch, no, no shifting. If we simplified everything, you just twist I the throttle. I wanted and to go. throttle it up to see if I could hear anything at all. Well, you know, uh, at most, Stuart, the best you're going to get is a, a little surge and, oh, turn it off. The most you're going to get is a little surge and a little whir of the noise. If you go to our website, you can actually hear what sound sounds like on the road. They do make a bit of a sound. It's kind of an electric whir. It's very, very invigorating when you ride it. It's very, very uh, rewarding as far as experience goes. It's like a magic carpet ride. You're just floating rest above the ground. Instant acceleration, uh, instant torque. Uh, am I right in saying that you've sold a lot of these to the Hong Kong police? We sold, yeah, we just a big announcement. We have some other big announcements coming up here soon. We just did a test with LAPD. We have some good news coming from the rest of the world, too. We're getting a lot of traction in the fleet world. Well, I'm not knocking the product. Um, I would never do that. Well, okay. I can tell. <laughs> no, no, I'm not knocking it. But I wonder, part of the reason for buying an electric vehicle would be that I don't want to buy gasoline anymore because the price of gas is going up. But gas is cheap for a motorcycle anyway. You've got great mileage anyway, don't you? Well, you buy a motorcycle for the experience, don't you? You get from riding it, the sense of freedom, being connected to the environment, all of those things. And with this bike, you are really connected to it because you don't have that wall of noise around you. It's just the feel of the wind in your face and the acceleration coming out of the corners and all the things that you love a motorcycle for without all of the downsides. All right, tell me the truth. How many 20-somethings will buy this versus the number of 60-somethings. We're seeing a lot more and more. Now, true, our demographic is 35 to 55 years yep. old right now, yep. but we're seeing a lot younger demographic come to the product as well, especially with the FX model over here. All right, Scott Harden, Zero Motorcycle. Um, I'm not entirely convinced, but you put on a good show. Well, go get your helmet. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> All right, everybody, we are back in just one moment with more on the IRS scandal. Back to reality in two minutes.